Okay, the pen tool, as promised. And the way we're going to learn the pen tool is to really break it down to its basic elements and then learn those elements really well. And then the pen tool really isn't that hard. So the first element with the pen tool is, well, actually finding the pen tool. So it's over in the tool panel and it's right here. It looks like a calligraphy kind of pen. And underneath that tool are several other tools within the pen tool complex, as I call it. Um, the convert point tool is very important. That allows you to actually shift the direction of your path that you're drawing using the pen tool. Um, deleting and adding anchor points is also crucial for forming a path. And um, freeform pen tool. Don't ever let me see you using this one. I don't even want to talk about it. And then the Big Daddy pen tool. All right, so that tool in combination with um, two steps down. This one's the type tool, so not that, but just below it are two little arrows. Um, one selects an entire path. So if you've drawn a shape, you can select the entire thing. And the most useful one, the direct selection tool, lets you adjust each anchor point individually, which you will see is crucial for making a really good selection. So let me go back to the pen tool. And I want you to also look up here in the pen tool options bar. And there's a lot of fluff up here. There's shapes that you can draw and things like that. But what I want you to really pay attention to is that the one, the, the mode that the pen tool should be in is not shape layers, but the next one over, which is for drawing paths. So the second selection within the pen tool options is going to be the important one for this assignment. Shapes will give you a vector path, which is more for designing an object or creating more of a painting where drawing a path is often used for making a selection, which is what we're going to do. So let's just start with the basic element, <clears throat> which is going to be a square. So what I'm going to do is click and make an anchor point. And now I'm not holding on to the mouse at all. I'm, I'm just, I'm not holding down. I'm just clicking and making another anchor point. And then the line will draw between the two anchor points. Then I'll come down to the bottom without holding the mouse button down and click again. <clears throat> and then over here. And then notice when I go up here to connect the last anchor point, you'll see that the pen tool is has a little circle beside it, which indicates that I'm about to close the path. And this is really important. So I need to go back to my original spot, close the path. And now I have a completed path drawn with the pen tool. So now I have to go over to my paths panel. And if you don't see that open, just go under window and go down to paths. And you'll see that it says that I have a working path. This means that I actually have an unsaved path. So if I want to save it, I'm going to double click on it. I'll name it square. And now this is a saved path. Now the beauty of a path is that I can now go over here to the direct selection tool and it is fully able to be edited. So in other words, I could take each one of these anchor points and start to manipulate it. So unlike the layer mask, there's it's a very clean and simple way to sort of manipulate the path is by moving the anchor points. So now I'm going to click off of that layer within the paths and you'll see that that path disappears. That doesn't mean it's been deleted. In fact, the only way to delete it is to drag it to a little trash can down here. Otherwise, my paths will be saved even when I close and open my image. These are saved until you throw them out. 
in the trash can. So when I click on that, the square appears again. Now if I want to turn this path into a selection, I'll drag it down to the make selection or load path as selection, as they say. Um, I can either highlight that layer and then just click or I can drag it into that icon and watch over in my document when I load this path as a selection it goes from being a path to marching ants which you're familiar with. Now I can do anything with that selection. So the goal is to create paths to have saved um, vector vector lines that can then be turned into marching ants.